Trucks with designs straight out of a sci-fi movie, packed with tech so advanced it was way ahead of their time, and power that could shake the very ground they drive on. These are the secret giants of the road, hidden from the public eye, that never made it to the production line. They're the game changers, the ones that got away. Hidden pickups that could have rewritten the rules of the road. So here are five most secret pickup trucks that you may never heard of. Back in 2001, Nissan turned heads at the Detroit Auto Show with their concept pickup, the Alpha T. It was their first shot at a full-size pickup, and man, did it make a statement. Unlike anything else at the time, its design was all sharp edges and looked like something out of a sci-fi movie, completely different from the smooth and curvy trucks we were used to. Nissan was clearly throwing down the gauntlet with the Alpha T, showing they were ready to take on the big players in the North American truck market. And it wasn't just for show. The truck was packed with cool, innovative features that were both practical and pretty forward-thinking. But when the Nissan Titan, their actual full-size truck, rolled out in 2004, it was a bit of a letdown. It didn't carry over that wow factor from the Alpha T, neither in looks nor in the tech and features department. Sales started off okay but then took a nosedive, and by the end of the decade, they weren't looking too hot. Even though the Alpha T never hit the production line, you can still see its impact today. Its bold design and the ideas it introduced were way ahead of their time, and they've continued to influence the truck world 20 years on. So, the Nissan Alpha T was this audacious and inventive concept that really showcased Nissan's eagerness to dive into the full-size pickup scene. Even if it never made it past concept stage, its legacy is still evident in the industry. The Ford F-250 Super Chief was a heavy-duty truck that Ford introduced back in 2006. It took its name from a famous train, the flagship of the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railway. Its design was very similar to the earlier 2002 Mighty F-350 concept. One of the coolest things about the Super Chief was its Triflex fuel system. This was the first time a vehicle could run on three different types of fuel, regular gas, E85 ethanol, or hydrogen. Ford thought this would be a big draw, especially since people were worried about where they'd get ethanol and hydrogen as those fuels were still catching on. The system was pretty smart, allowing the truck to travel up to 500 miles on any of these fuels before needing a refill. When running on hydrogen, the truck even got a 12% boost in fuel efficiency over gas or ethanol. Under the hood, the Super Chief had a supercharged 6.8-liter V10 engine that kicked out 550 horsepower. When running on hydrogen, it also delivered 400 pound-feet of torque. Switching between fuels was easy. You just hit a switch on the dashboard, and you could do it while driving. The truck's design was really unique, taking inspiration from the old locomotives, especially at the front grille. Inside, it was all about luxury, with American walnut panels, brushed aluminum, and rich brown leather. It had regular doors in the front and fancy coach doors in the back. Plus, it came with LED headlights, a full glass roof, and even an automatic footrest. Even though it never hit the production line, the Super Chief made its way into the virtual world in the Ford Racing Off-Road, a video game available for the Nintendo Wii and PlayStation 2. This concept truck was Ford's way of showing off what could be the next big thing in pickups, with a focus on American design and innovation. The Jeep M7 15 5 quarter concept, unveiled in 2019, is a cool, modern twist on the classic 1968 Jeep M715 military vehicle. The name 5 quarter hints at its beefy 1 and 1 quarter ton rating back in the day. This isn't just a simple makeover of the old M715. It's a fully functional beast that nods to its military past while injecting a ton of modern tech and features. The original frame has been beefed up, and it sports a new heavy-duty suspension system. The front end now sits on a Dynatrack Pro Rock 60 axle, moved forward by 2 inches, while the back rolls on a Dynatrack Pro Rock 80 axle. It rides on huge 20-inch beadlock wheels matched with massive 40-inch tires ready for any terrain. Under the hood lies a beastly supercharged 6.2-liter Hellcrate Hemi V8 engine cranking out 700 horsepower. 
This means the five-quarter has more than enough power for some serious off-road fun. The exterior of the five-quarter is just as impressive, featuring a sleek carbon fiber front end instead of the old metal one. It also boasts a custom six-foot aluminum bed that's a mix of water jet cut panels and classy wood slats. The convertible top has been chopped down by 3.5 inches for a meaner look. It's also got sturdy full-length rock rails, updated Jeep Gladiator Rubicon bumpers at both ends, and a modern lighting setup with HID and LED lights all around. Inside, the five-quarter has stylish Jeep Wrangler seats, minus the headrests for a cleaner look, along with aluminum door and instrument panels cut with a water jet for a mix of flair and function. There's even a vintage supercharger housing repurposed as a cool housing for the gear shifters. Plus, the floor's been given a bedlining treatment, adding to its tough vibe. The Chevrolet E10 concept is where the past and the future collide, transforming a 1962 Chevy C10 pickup into an electric powerhouse. At the heart of this ride are two electric E-crate motors and a duo of 400-volt batteries from the Chevy Bolt EV, which together pump out a cool 450 horsepower. This electric setup gets the truck zooming from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just about 5 seconds. These motors work with a regular 4-speed automatic transmission, directing all that power straight to the rear wheels. What's really neat is how these motors are put together. You can stack up to three of these bad boys for even more power, all while using the Bolt EV's battery packs to keep you going over long distances. The truck packs a total battery capacity of 120 kilowatt, split evenly between two units, and these batteries are cleverly tucked away in the truck bed. The E10 debuted at the 2019 Specialty Equipment Marketing Association show. It stirred up some debate among enthusiasts about electrifying such a classic, but its performance is hard to argue with. This concept truck is GM's way of showing off what the future could look like, high-performance, zero-emission classic trucks. The E10's powertrain isn't just any setup. It's a peek into a world where electric motors and classic designs come together seamlessly. But it's not just about the power. The E10 also cares about the vibe. It has a sound emulator with three speakers to mimic the sounds of a traditional engine, so it still feels right at home among other hot rods. You can switch between sounds like a muscle car's roar, something more futuristic, or just cruise in silence. All in all, the Chevrolet E10 concept is a bold move towards electric future, showing that you don't have to give up the classic truck look to get modern performance and eco-friendliness. The 1996 Ford Adrenaline was a concept truck that really shook things up by focusing more on room for passengers than just hauling stuff. This was pretty new for the time, especially in the U.S., where if you wanted a crew cab pickup, you were pretty much looking at the big, heavy-duty ones. Ford's head of design, Jack Telnack, called it the best of both worlds because it was designed to be fun to drive off-road like a sport utility vehicle but still keep the handy features of a pickup. It looked sleeker than the 1996 F-150 and was bigger than the Ford Ranger. It came in a bright amber color with huge 32-inch off-road tires from Goodyear on 16-inch alloy wheels. They even put a winch on the front bumper and tow hooks on all corners, plus added some shiny nickel plating on the lower panels and skid plates for extra protection. Inside, the Adrenaline had a vibe inspired by outdoor gear like rock climbing and camping, with tough fabric on the lower dashboard, doors, and seats. They even covered the sunroof in canvas and added removable bags and backpacks to the mix. There was also a cool GPS system right in the dash that could show where you were in the world in real time. The back window could drop down, and the rear seats could fold flat to make more room for cargo all the way from the tailgate to the front seats. The tailgate had an extra bit that could fold out to extend the cargo space even more. They also thought about after-trail cleanup with special compartments in the cargo area for a water purification system that could be used as a high-pressure washer. The public loved the Adrenaline concept so much that Ford brought it to life in 2000 as the 2001 Ford Explorer Sport Track, which took a lot of cues from the Ford Explorer and was a totally different beast from the Ford Ranger.